Are you willing to practice African spirituality? To practice Vodun as a religion? If yes, the very first thing you have to do is to go to one if a priest. Not to take an ordinary reading, but in order to take initiation to Ifa. Ifa initiation will help find out your do. And finding out your do will help know what spiritual clan you belong to and what are the different deities that you are connected to. Once the sign is found out, and the different deities that rule you show up, the Fapris is going to question each of the different deities. Because more than one deity can show up in a single person's life. But their role, their mission in the person's life are not the same. So it is important for the Ifa priest, once the sign is out, to question each of the different deities, to know what they need in order to play their role, to fulfill their mission in your life. There are three cases. The deity revealed on your Ifa sign may have to do with the whole family or with the whole community. And there is a temple and a priest taking care of the temple. So what the deity needs from you is just to recognize its existence and periodically go to the temple in order to do some libation or some offerings. And then he will protect you all your life along. Sometimes the deity has to do with nobody else than you. And there is a work that you're going to take in order to be in full connection with it. The third case is that the deity is related to a whole community or to a whole family, but nobody is there taking care of it because the priest who was in charge of that already passed away. And the deity wants you to be playing that role from now on. So, another initiation is going to occur for you to integrate the priesthood. Then, you go in to see a Vodun priest, depending on the deity. If it is Sapata, you're going to see a Sapata priest or a Sapata priestess. If it is done the same way, and the work depends on the deity. Once you see the priest or the priestess, they themselves will go to the Ifa priest behind you to check whether they are the right priest to do the work for you. Is there any sacrifice they have to do before starting your initiation? Let us take this Sapata initiation as illustration for the third case. I mean the case where you required to be a full adept or to integrate the priesthood. Yes. The very first thing you go going to take through when you are in the Sakwata temple for initiation is to get on the sacred mat of Sakwata, principle of earth, god of all diseases, provider of all wealth on the ground, like gold, diamond, etc. The small marks that you can see on the mat and that they're going to cover the man's body with are symbol of the deity. Sakbata is a multicolored deity, meaning that it uses different colors. After you are covered with the marks, you will be brought to the forest. 
in order to take a bath, a spiritual bath, because you have to remove all your past sin from you, getting a new vibration, because after your initiation, you become a different person. Your lifestyle will change. There are taboos that will be prescribed. You are now in full connection with the things. They are now going for the street one back. Once back to the temple, you will get dressed like this. And if you were local, your body will be marked forever. And you'll stay in the convent for some months, at least three or six months, even more. You will learn a new language, the language of the convent. You will learn the dance step related to the deity. And you will develop a new lifestyle. A naming ceremony will occur and you will take another name. After the six month, you will be going out and coming back to the temple, going to market or everywhere you want. For people to see that you got initiated to a deity and that your lifestyle is going to change. People are no longer allowed to call you by your former name. It is a taboo. But since you are not local and you got initiated, you're going to be a priest or a full adept. An additional ritual is taken and priest asks the deity to dash you the naming ceremony and the marking of your body. 
If you were planned to be a priest, they will crown you like this. It's like that you can integrate the priesthood, Sapata priesthood. So in a summary, that's how we can reconnect to the root. Get initiated to Sapata. Let's enjoy now this Sapata show. <laughs> Oh, I'm 